What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Report. Today, I'm here to talk about the Promise Neverland Chapter 88. First and foremost, we got the official, official announcement of the anime, along with a little teaser trailer that came out over the weekend. You know, we got to hear a little bit of preview of the voices, and I just got chills up my spine hearing, you know, Emma. It sounded like it was probably also Norman and Ray in the trailer as well maybe even mama you know it's kind of hard to tell but i cannot wait to a translated one so i'll know who's who about some of the lines that they said again we know it's going to be done by cloverworks and this is absolutely fantastic i mean the driving force behind the series is so big that it's going to succeed i mean it's going to have like attack on titan success that's how confident I am in this series for when anime onlys get their hands on it, and I cannot wait, especially being a manga reader that's been covering this series since chapter one. Um, and it's official that it's coming out in January, so winter 2019, so that had to already be in the works, and it's probably only going to be 12 episodes because I feel like when Boku no Hero was announced, for example, for the anime, it felt like that was a year away. It might have been shorter, but I don't remember it being as quick as we're getting Promised Neverland, so this was kept under a wrap for a while. Of course, we know with the success that this series has had, it was only a matter of time, and I'm not sure how I'm going to cover the anime, honestly, guys, because I've been covering the manga since Chapter 1, so, I don't know if I'm going to do reviews, I don't know if I'm going to be doing live reactions, because it's not like it's going to exactly surprise me, maybe just react just to certain moments, and, you know, reviews, I'll be going over the same things that we go over every week, it's not going to be too much I can review, except for, you know, just taking out things for the episodes themselves, so, we'll just have to find out how that's going to go, um, definitely going to be doing certain moments, like when Sister Crone shows up, for example, you know, the finale and things like that. I definitely want to do some type of coverage for it or maybe even just how the anime did overall. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's talk about this chapter right now because it was fantastic as we head into the final battle with Lewis. And springing off from the excitement that they have behind this series with chapter 88, we got a double issue this week, but the chapter itself was the standard size, but what we got in extra was like the last few pages, maybe like the last 10 or 12 were, you know, recap. It was just basically story building, world building, all in color. Showing the characters, you know, showing their numbers, how old they are, all the people that we've encountered, you know, the little tidbits that we still have left in the season, in not the season, in the series, with, you know, like the clues and the Morse code with M William Minerva and, you know, map points. It was just fantastic, and I would love to see this translated. I cannot wait. I hope this is something that they bring over to us because I'm also collecting the manga chapters so i hope we get to see this in some shape form or fashion as well but again the fact that they took half of a double chapter just to highlight all this shows that shonen jump has a lot of confidence in the series and they should because it's a fantastic series and i just cannot express my excitement i cannot wait for people to see this you know i'm trying to tell my friends about it who aren't reading the manga and i'm saying i really don't want to compare it to death note but if i had to pick something i would say deadland Mud wonderland mixed with death note so i guess that's the best way you can describe it but another we're getting off track again let's talk about this chapter because it was absolutely fantastic because we know that lewis is a boss we know this this guy is always one step ahead he's very strong he's very powerful and he has the mind games that will make even the smartest person crumble but we know to defeat Lewis, Emma's going to have to do a lot of thinking. She's going to have to think on her toes. She's going to have to improvise. I don't think anything that she has planned already is going to get her past Lewis because Lewis already knows what's going on. It's like when they shot the guns at him with multiple bullets, he just caught all of them, no problem. He knows that Emma is alone because right now the team is pretty much structured down to three people. It's just Emma, Pepe, and um, Nigel. And Nigel's out there, he has the biggest responsibility for being the firing squad to try to break off the mask. He's aware that it was supposed to be more people than this because he already called out that Emma was supposed to have more people there and they didn't show up. So he was like, okay, I'm just going to kill who's ever here. But you can't count out these kids as well because they have a plan too. They know that in order to beat Lewis, they're going to have to think on their toes and they got to work with what they have. And we can go all the way back to where the plan initially started. We we're supposed to be 10 people, but now we only got three against Lewis, even back with Oliver. They were saying that Lewis is very good at what he does. He's going to block everything. He's going to predict everything. So our best bet will be to trap this man. This is the only way we're going to be able to get him. We're going to have to use our wits, our wills. We're going to have to use his arrogance against him, and we're going to have to try to bait him to trap him. That's the only way that we're going to be able to get them. And Prophet Emma as well, because we've seen her develop as a character so much. And 
in order to beat Lewis, you're gonna have to take down, you're gonna have to predict the movements of a predictor. But thankfully, Emma has been trained with some of the best minds in the series. She's always been head to head against the gods, the young lords, Ray and Norman. Also the mind games against Mama. She's been trained for this type of battle for quite some time in a way that she was able to think on her feet and actually get this plan going because it looked like they were gonna fail, but that's exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to get Lewis with his guard down, get him in a confined place, and they were actually able to trap him by electrocuting him which is something you haven't felt before, but it didn't work. It didn't work, and I got a little bit worried because they was like, we have to trap him, and then we have to go for the mask. And Lewis already knew that if they're planning this the way that they're doing, you must only have limited ammo because if you had enough ammo to take off my mask, you wouldn't have did a barrage like this, and you're only with small numbers. I am absolutely loving this. He is having a good time. So we're gonna have to see how the kids are gonna get out of this, but that came pretty soon too. Because there was a lot of tension with, you know, with Emma and Pepe and Nigel because it almost looked like they failed. It almost did look like they failed when they were shocking him. Lewis was actually fighting out of it because he was like, oh, this shock. This is something I haven't seen before. Impressive, but it didn't work. However, the man still got shot because that boy, that man showed up with Ray with the excellent sniping ability once again. This guy is a marksman. And Lewis, you're not dealing with kids anymore now. You're dealing with a grown man. You're dealing with a grown man who has been waiting to get revenge on you for quite some time as the final stage is set we got all the pieces there we got that man here we got emma we got ray <sighs> the only thing left is we have to see what lucas is gonna do and when ray and that man showed up i got so hyped to see that because the stage is set because that was something i don't even think emma predicted again she didn't know how close they were to this um, battlefield so for them to come in in the clutch like that is only going to up her confidence and I'm loving Emma more and more as a character she's getting smarter and smarter as I raved about her last chapter that we had she recognizes that she will have to kill someone in order to survive in this world she has no problem doing that and she's definitely becoming one of the biggest and most compelling characters in Shonen so we have to see how she grows but it's some things I want to you know, kind of predict. I mean, that's the thing about this series. You don't really want to predict because you're probably going to be wrong. You never know where this series is going to go. But that's the fun with Promise Neverland as well because, you know, just them shocking Lewis, it, it kind of shocked me to think that he got out of that so easy. But then again, these monsters, they can regenerate. And you have to make this guy a menace. But for that man to show up and just shoot off his mask, hook, line, and sinker, what I'm worried about now is the rage mode that Lewis is going to go into because remember what we saw with Nas when he lost Noma, he went insane and he took out pretty much everybody that was around him. If we get that same type of thing with Lewis, we are going to be in trouble because we don't want to see this man at his peak. I mean, I know we have to for the story, but are the kids really ready for this? Are they really ready for a full power Lewis? Because that is going to be scary. And if anything, I think this is going to excite him more. Because this is going to be the hunt that he's always wanted. He's never been taken to this limit. And now he has uh, promised Neverland so good. But I think another question everybody has is, what's up with that damn monkey with Lewis? You know, I think something's going on here. It might be some body swapping shit going on. I definitely want to see what, what you guys think about that and can't wait to see how that's going to fare out because that thing's been around for a while and we haven't really seen it do anything until now like one of the times where we were shooting at Lewis and trying to take him out they actually jumped off of him and they panned on for a little bit almost as if they had a connection yeah I'm going to call body swap or it's definitely something like maybe that's something within that monkey is Lewis what if the monkey is Lewis that would be wild but anyway, guys, another fantastic chapter of The Promised Neverland. And we don't have to wait that long. The wait is even shorter than I thought for that anime greatness so we can see all of our favorite moments animated. And I cannot wait to see Sister Crone. I said that before. She was one of my favorite characters in this season. Uh, season. Series. Not season. But you know what I mean. It's the anime thing. This guy's all choked up here. So, guys, let me know what you thought of this chapter in the comments below. As always, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If there's not a shortage of content, you indulge on on this channel. As I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. Just chose to listen to me. I really appreciate that. So, thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.